this video from Sharpout we're taking a look at setting up and using the training mode function on your XCA213 or 302 registers so in this video I'm using the UK model the 213 but the process will be the same across the range so the way the training mode works on this level of sharp till is that you effectively assign a clerk or an operator to be the training clerk so on the 213 you have up to 25 different operators um, and if you program one of them to be the training clerk, um, then then that is the way of entering the training mode. So this is covered in the manual. So I'm on page 74 of the manual, um, following the flowchart for training clerk specification for training mode. Um, what it says in the manual is to turn the MA key round to the PGM position. Press subtotal ST here. Can you see that? I've moved the camera not quite right. There we go. Press ST, helpful if you can see it. Then type in 86, followed by the multiply button here. Um, and then you type in the number of the clerk that you want to be the training clerk. So I'm going to go for 25, 25, and then press ST, followed by TLNS. You get a little printout confirming the programming, which basically says clerk 25 um, is the training clerk. You then turn the key back around to the register mode and then to enter the training mode you log on as that operator so for me it's 25 and then the CLK hash button here and it comes up and says um, Clark 25. If you want to you can change the name of the clerk in the cashier programming I'll post a video showing you how to do that so you can actually have some confirmation at this point that you're entering the training mode and then basically the till works exactly the same way as normal um, you just put your sales through um, it comes up and says training on the receipt that prints out. Again, that text is editable, so I'll post a video showing you how to edit that. Um, and then when you do your, if I log back in, if yeah, if you want to leave the training mode, so you've trained a new member of staff or shown someone how to do something on the till, you log back in as a different operator. Um, so Clark 1 is now signed on so the next sale won't have training on it and it will be recorded um, properly on the end of day report when you do your end of day reports um, one TLNS you'll have a separate total for training so you can see next to the grand totals um, obviously subject to the proviso that what appears on the reports is editable but on the standard printout you have grand totals and then beneath them you have the training mode so I would think that would reset so that's one if you did another, if you're ever unsure about what's appearing on reports and what's resetting, that doesn't reset, so it stays on the um, stays on the report, which is a bit strange. But it doesn't it doesn't get included um, as standard on the normal report, so it's it's kind of a bit irrelevant. When you're done with your reports, always turn the key back to the reg mode. So yeah, I hope that video has been helpful. That's basically how to set up and use the training mode function on the 213 and 302 registers. Got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of these machines. Uh, some of those videos will be appearing on screen now, so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.